Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so glad that you watched the last two. That is so exciting to me. I can't even begin to express my gratitude. If you haven't watched the last two videos, I suggest that you do. The first video, we have PDF downloads where we talked about a roadmap, you know, where we want to be, where we want to be and where we are and all the stuff in the middle that gets in the way of that. And in the second video, we talked about tracking that timeline. So we have that roadmap on how we go about and find our emotion. And so there are ways in the last video that you can kind of stop it at each level in order to reduce the unwanted emotions that you're experiencing. So in this video, I'm gonna just talk briefly about how. What are certain ways that you can implement these things into your life on a daily basis? So I'm gonna talk about that today. So like I said, I am not a professional in psychology, I am not a therapist, but I'm a mental health speaker and a wellness coach, and I am an expert by experience. So for instance, my mental health speaking. When I talk about my story and I share it mostly to middle schools, high schools, and colleges, the response I get sometimes is overwhelming. You know, I have people come up to me and cry and tell me that they are so happy, number one, that they aren't alone, but number two, that they actually have things that they can take home with them. And that makes me feel so good because when I was feeling lost and in the darkness, I didn't really have anybody to help me. I really had to do it all by myself, and I know how lonely the journey can be sometimes. So that's why I'm here doing these videos, to bring people together who are experiencing the same things, because I think the majority of us out there are. And the wellness coaching, I really started that because I just want to help. And as far as being an expert, like I said, I have been through the darkness. I have been to the points of, you know, not wanting to be alive and hopelessness and just feeling like the emotions will never, ever go away. And I will tell you that things get better and it gets easier. And these skills for myself have made that possible. I mean... Imagine being able to make sense of your emotions in any given moment and being able to navigate them in a productive way. Imagine being able to reach for something healthy and where it actually fulfills you rather than something negative like drugs or alcohol or binge eating or screaming and yelling or calling someone a thousand times or driving by their house because you're afraid. Imagine being able to do those things in a productive way and not experience the negative consequences of the bad stuff, but be able to experience the joy and the fulfilling nature of a well-rounded life. So the how. How do we do this? So one of the biggest things for me was keeping a notebook. I'm actually gonna grab my notebook here. And this is gonna look a little crazy because I was very studious, but this is my binder for all of my DBT stuff. So you can look into DBT. I'll send a link below um, to Marshall Linehan's thing. You know, there's workbooks and stuff for it. And even if you're not in DBT therapy, it's all really helpful stuff and you can learn it on your own. Um, so I keep this notebook and I use this a lot in the beginning. A lot of the worksheets that I gave you or in the PDF downloads are in this notebook. So keeping a notebook is helpful. Obviously not everybody has time to make a notebook of DBT worksheets or worksheets like this. So I also recommend keeping a journal. So for the journaling, like the grow model, what we want changes over time. So I do a new grow model probably every six months. What do I want? Where am I at? That stuff changes over time. So keeping a journal with the grow model um, template in there is really helpful. Also the timeline using that in your journaling, because you can use that every single day. So in DBT, they call this journaling process a diary card. So basically, you write down all of your feelings. You can get one of those tiny little notebooks like I showed you. You can actually scroll down. I have a link to one of those little guys, so you can just buy one. It made my life so much better um, being able to just write it down in the moment as things happened. So the eight base or core emotions are fear, anger, disgust, jealousy, envy, shame, guilt, and love. So those are the core eight feelings and all of the little words that we use are just offshoots of one of those. So when you go through the timeline that we talked about in the first video, you will be able to identify the core emotion because once you get that 
general name around it, it's much easier to work with. Like I said, the diary card. So you write out those emotions and you write out a timeline. So you can use a planner for this, you can just use a journal, and so you can start seeing patterns. So for instance, in the morning, I used to wake up with anxiety, which was coming from fear. So anxiety is another word for fear. So I would have my timeline. I woke up at 7 a.m., let's say. So I would have 7 a.m. and I would have the feelings here, fear. And what's your intensity on a scale of one to five? A lot of times for me, it was a five. So I'd write that in. And throughout the day, whenever I experienced an intense emotion that felt like enough for me to write down, I did that. You can also come back to it just every few hours if you have time. You know, even if you're at work and you're sitting at your desk, you can go back, you know, when you get there, lunchtime, and then right before you leave and go home, or once you get home. And that way you can start to track your emotions, check the intensity, the time of day. Maybe you're especially anxious around lunchtime. Maybe that's because you're hungry. Maybe you are especially angry around, you know, when you get home. Maybe you live alone and you're lonely. So it's really great to be able to track that on a daily basis so that you can start becoming familiar with your own emotional ebbs and flows. So those are some very specific ways that you can integrate this emotional regulation and identification into your life in a way that will help you track from A to B. I know that we couldn't really get to everything in these three videos, and I really want to take you through even further. So this was just a little snippet of that beginning element, that emotional, mental identification and awareness. And I know that this was just a short intro into all of this because this is a lot of work. And I know it can be overwhelming and it can be confusing at times. So I really hope that I was able to explain it a little bit in a way that can make some impact in your life right now. I actually have created a six week course that goes deeper into every element. So this one we only focused on the foundation and that's because obviously in order to really focus on like things like nutrition or hobbies or fitness, you have to have the mental and emotional part kind of leveled out. Otherwise all the other stuff just seems really difficult. In the six week course, it expands greatly on all of these elements, like specifically this first one, this foundation, because like I said, this is the most important piece of the puzzle. So I'm gonna offer this six week course um, pretty soon and I'm only doing it for a short period of time. And the reason why I'm doing that is because like I had you comment below, I want to have the people taking it feel accountable with each other and to create lasting relationships with each other. And as they go through each step, they'll be able to communicate and talk about what's going on. And maybe someone can give you good advice because one of the things that I experienced in my path to healing, when I did go to formal forms of therapy, I was in group settings. I went to a DBT group with six other girls and bouncing ideas off of them was super duper helpful. And also when I was in residential treatment, every day we had about four to five groups filled with other people who experienced similar things. So if we all go through this together, it'll be much, much easier for us to get more deep, get deeper and dig deeper into the content in a way that can help us relate to each other and help each other and support each other through this journey because life can be lonely and we can address that first vulnerability factor right here in a healthy, loving, supportive, kind, nurturing way. So I hope you feel a little better. I hope you feel like there are things that you can take away from this that'll really help you. Thank you again for being here. Um, as always, feel free to email me. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. I actually have a little survey that I'll be shooting out to you pretty soon to give me feedback. Was it helpful? What was the most helpful parts? Um, I want to make sure that everything I do seriously helps because that's honestly 100% why I'm doing this. Um, it makes me feel good and I want to make other people feel good and I want to help other people because I know we don't all have access to therapy or all feel comfortable going to therapy. So this is a good way to really get down and dirty with ourselves but in a way that's nice and enjoyable. So could you use some additional help? Do you feel like you need a group of people to lean on, people that understand? How can I support you? 
Go ahead and scroll down and let me know or shoot me back an email. It's totally up to you how you'd like to contact me, but I really, really want to hear back from you. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I am so excited. I hope you've downloaded all the PDFs and I look forward to seeing you soon. I will be sending out, like I said, that survey and a couple more videos, so just stay tuned for those and I will see you around. Bye!